Hey friends, it's Tracy. It is Wednesday and we are doing part two of my long-term sinking fund stuffing, which includes Roth IRA, emergency, travel fund, home improvement, land, and paying off that side by side. So we have two binders to stuff, uh, a little bit extra money this time, and I'm super excited. But I did realize that I forgot to announce the winner for my Clever Fox collab. So <laughs> we got to make sure that we do that today. Um, I did a video review of the Clever Flux travel planner as well as the bi-weekly budget planner. I am obsessed with both of these. I am so excited to be using them. Oh, I just love it. If you watched the video, thank you very much. If you haven't, make sure to go check it out. I also have a promo code for those that want to purchase off the Clever Fox website. If there's any items that are of interest to you, you would save 10% by using Golden Girl Budgets. <laughs> and the cool part about it is that you save 10% and they send that 10% over to me as a commission. So... <laughs> You can save money and also support me if you're interested in Clever Fox items. So oh, I just, I was so happy to do this collab with them and I'm so excited to pick a winner of their sponsored giveaway. So let's see who won. Uh, the winner is KP-CB9SR. <laughs> So if that's you, <laughs> Clever Fox absolutely need the travel one. Was skeptical until I watched this video. Thank you. Yes, I honestly had put them in my cart off and on forever. And I was just, I didn't pull the trigger. And once I was able to get these in my hands, I absolutely love this travel planner. I think it's so cool. <laughs> it fits a lot of the needs that I have for tracking my trip that's coming up. And I can't wait to journal afterwards. Just my thoughts on everything. So cool. So please make sure to reach out to me at goldengirlbudgets at gmail.com or on Instagram, Golden Girl Budgets, or through Etsy, Golden Girl Budgets. Feel free to send me a message, whichever is the most convenient for you. Super cool. Um, for those that didn't win, if you're holding off to buy one to see if you won or not, and you didn't win, you can still be a winner by getting 10% off by using my promo code Golden Girl Budgets on the Clever Fox website. Again, I'll have it linked below. Thank you guys so much. All right, let's get to stuffing. So our first category is our Roth IRA. Um, this has been a priority for us. So we budget $600 a month to save towards a Roth IRA. My husband does not have any investing through um, his company because he is self-employed. So we use this Roth IRA as a way to get some saving investing in his name. I would love to eventually one day be able to do one for myself. <laughs> but in the meantime, due to budgets, due to income, we are prioritizing him and I am doing the 401k through my work. So let's start off with Roth IRA. How much do we have to spend? Should be 600. One, two, three, four, five, 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80, 5, 90, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 600. So we do have our $600, which is amazing. <laughs> Last year, 2023, was the first time that we got to fully fund one at the 6,500 level. And it just was so cool. <laughs> So for 2024, they have raised that to $7,000 now. And I am doing this first challenge from JoJo's Money. Essentially, it I it's 80 circles. I am not choosing to use just this one challenge to fund the whole thing. So I'm going to do $50 per circle, and that's going to save me $4,000. So let's take our one, two, three, four hundred and put that towards here. So we're gonna color 51, 52, 53, 50, 400. So we're gonna get another row in there. All right, so we got that in and we're adding that 400 over here. Uh, just a reminder, I do use prop money when it comes to my long-term sinking funds. The reason is because I automatically transfer this over to my high yield savings account buckets through Ally. I do have one specified for Roth IRA. And it just doesn't make sense for me to pull this money out, 
to cash stuff it as regular cash and then deposit it back into that account. I want to earn as much interest as I can. <laughs> so it just makes sense to use prop money to be able to symbolize how much has been transferred. Um, these do 100% line up with the amount of money that I do put over to my high yield savings accounts. Um, but I do get that question asked, why am I using play money or prop money or fake money? Um, and that is why. So in this one so far, we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So I'm gonna switch that over to $1,000 placeholder next time. And then one, two, three, fifty. So one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars towards the four thousand. <laughs> so I think we're doing pretty good. All right. Next up is my chocolate chip cookie savings. This is from Cindy Cat Budgets. I absolutely love this one. It's just a thing with my family. We do cookies, <laughs> so it just resonates with me. Let's do. I got a pretty good amount of money left. Um, let's do 20 plus 20. So we're at 40. And let's do 65, right? Knock out all those big guys. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do... 65, um, 20, 40, 50, 65, so 20, 40, 50, 65 dollars is going in, however I have this hundred dollar left, so let's take out two fifties and put that hundred in instead. So 50 plus 20, 40, 50, right? So 100 bucks coming out, 100 bucks going in. <laughs> this is just to make it easier for me to count later. All right, so so far out of the $350, we have saved 100, 200, 10, 20, 5, 30. So $230 out of 350. So we have $120 left to go. How cute. <laughs> oh, now we are to my nerd turd. Yes, I love this one. <laughs> this is from Reinventing Renee. So what I do is I have this printable, which is the step up to 406. It saves $406. I roll a dice and then I save all the way through to the end. And let's see how much we end up having to save. These are my stickers that I have left. So let's grab our dice. And of course, I just leave a bunch of stuff in here <laughs> all the time. <laughs> let's do the green dice, green for money. So we're gonna start at the top. We got a five, so one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna save $12. and you just stick the little sticker on. It's just awesome. <laughs> so we got $12 plus two, one, two, 24. Ouchie, that was a big guy. Plus 24, so we're at 36. Plus two, one, two, 21. All right, we're just knocking out a lot of big ones today. So we're at 57 and we're just trying to get to the end. One, 14, we might use the whole hundred here. <laughs> and then I'll be sad that it's done. And six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we knocked off that big one at the beginning. <laughs> 23, woohoo. So we're saving at $94 in this savings challenge today. But look, we are so close to being done. I don't know why I'm not hitting this bottom row. <laughs> All right, let's stuff the money. All right, so we had a $200 placeholder in there. And now we are stuffing $94. So we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90.
plus two plus four. So $94 is stuffed. So we have 250, 70, 90, two, four. $294 and this saves $406. So we really don't have too much left to go, <laughs> but it's so fun. Okay, here is my last challenge. And this is a trio of challenges. I just think it's so cute. <laughs> it is from Whimsy Designs by LB. And here's what we already saved. It is all these different savings cards. So this one, we are trying to solve the disagreement with this couple. Uh, I pretty much have filled in all the non-disagreement things, but I need to finish up their disagreement. So I have to roll a four in order to solve them. And these guys do not want to. They do not want to behave with each other. <laughs> so, and then I have this one, which is color the cartons. These are $5 each. So let's finish off that page first. So we're gonna stuff 15. And then we have two out of the three done. And then we're gonna see if we can solve these disagreements. I don't know. These. These are stubborn. This is how I would be. I'm very stubborn. <laughs> and I imagine as I get older, it's only going to get worse. <laughs> okay. We need a four. Anytime I don't get a four, I'm putting a dollar in as extra incentive. All right. So we're at one dollar because I didn't get a four. Another dollar because I didn't get a four. And another one. And another one. We got one. Yay. <laughs> I honestly didn't think this was going to be possible. All right. So we got, well, of course, I do the purple one, which covers it all up, but that's okay. We have one, two more disagreements left to solve. And we have to pay that $4. So we'll put in a five, take out a one. Okay. Let's see if we can solve it. Three. Nope. So that gets a one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Oh, we got another one. Yay! <laughs> Maybe we will solve these problems. Okay, we have one left to go. Maybe they're just done. They're like, you know what? We've been fighting for so long. We are over this. So I'm putting four in. I put a five in, taking a one out. So we're at $13 added so far. And another one, and another one. So let's put in this two, take out a one, come on. Ugh. Okay. Yay, we did it. <laughs> Sorry, that was probably really loud. But we solved our disagreement and it makes me so happy. So I owe four more dollars. I only have a 10 left, so let's take out two, three, four, and we'll put in the 10. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was really loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> 10, 15, 20, one, two. So $22 is being added to our pot, and we've officially finished this challenge, which is so cool. All right, so between these three and me doing those bonus ones in there, how much did we save? 150, 70, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2. So $222. How perfect even, because that's my favorite number, <laughs> is 2, 22, anything that's a derivative of 2. Oh my gosh, how fun. So we finished this one up. Yay! <laughs> so now I can stick another one in there. We have $222, so that will go now to this front one. Anytime I finish a savings challenge, it goes into my front master um, category envelope. That way I can keep building this up throughout the year, and I should have $7,000 by the end of the year. So we're at $222. Obviously, this one we're still working on. This one we're still working on. Do I have enough to color? um two three four so i could color a five and do an iou so maybe we'll do that 
and then I'll pick a new challenge to put in there. So let's color in the five. And then we're going to add an IOU of one dollar. We'll just stick these in here. We're not going to recount it. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> but let's grab my thing of IOU slips. Oh, that one has a two on it. Let's do that one. Got carried away, did ya? Yup. <laughs> Sure did. So I owe one dollar next time. And this is cute. This is from Carmen. <laughs> okay, I owe you done. Next category is my emergency fund. So this one, I have extra money this time, and it's all thanks to you guys. Okay, so Ally had a promotion. Ally is who I use for my high yield savings account. They had a promo where I shared my link and if you guys opened up an account with them, I got $50 per account that was opened. I didn't mention it a whole lot, but I had it in my description box and two of you guys took advantage of it. So you guys, the two of you got me $100 from Ally, <laughs> which was so cool. They just put it in my account and I decided it's gonna to go towards my emergency fund because this is something that I really, really want to keep building up. Um, I am using Liz's one week ahead version for it. So she has these really cute little one week ahead each house with the stickers because when she made a sticker version, you know I had to do that. <laughs> so I can pop the sticker over, each house is worth $25. I want to have $5,000 saved to be one month ahead to cover all my living expenses. But in order to save $5,000, it's a very daunting task. And I love that Liz thought of this way of doing it as a week ahead version. So I am working towards one week, then two weeks, then three weeks, then four weeks. So the four weeks together will get me to $5,000, which means each week ahead, I have to get to $1,000. $250? Yeah, so each week ahead is $1,250. So then I divided that by the number of houses. That means each house is $25. That just feels so much more doable for me. And I obviously am doing savings challenges to work towards it. But with this bonus money that I got, I think I might be able to finish some savings challenges and actually get to put some money towards this. So let's just start and go, right? <laughs> so we have the rainy day challenge. This is from Veronica over at 40 plus life. I just love this one. Oh, how much do I have? You guys don't even know. <laughs> 150, 70, 80, 95, seven, nine, two hundred dollars. So because of that bonus, I have two hundred dollars to put towards it this month, which is awesome. <laughs> it is so awesome. Let's color in. Let's do five, ten, fifteen. Twenty five, thirty. So let's do $30 into this one today. So we're gonna do 20 and 30, right? Yes. <laughs> so in here, it's $125 um, if I finish this one. So 20, 40, 50, $60 in here. I am halfway done, which is so cute. I just love anything rainy, gloomy. It's actually like been a gloomy, rainy day all day today. It has been nonstop. <laughs> <sighs> okay, next is my bank account buffer. This one is so cute. This is from Living Simple Studios. I just think it's, oh, does this not bring you back to like high school, junior high, elementary? <laughs> it just makes me so happy. <laughs> okay, what are we saving today? So we are saving $6.00. plus eight dollars eight and six so we're at 14 and let's do the top here eight 
plus five is nineteen dollars so let's put in a let's see 10 15 16 17 18 19 5 10 15 16 17 18 19 and so far we have saved 20 30 45 47 49 51 52 so let's get rid of that 150 right <laughs> so 20 30 45 47 49 50 so trading that out for this 50 and so i have 52 dollars saved and i think this is a hundred dollar challenge yeah save a hundred <laughs> Okay, rainy boots. So actually, <laughs> someone gave me this suggestion last time and I was like, that's a good idea, I should do that. I need to move this alphabet challenge up farther because this takes a lot of my money and I wanna make sure that I get to it. So let's do that. We moved it up and this is from Champagne's Corner. It is a tile game so in here i have a little mini pouch these are the ones that i've already picked you draw a tile whatever you get that letter is associated with number in the alphabet that it is and so let's see what we get we got l so that's twelve dollars And I want to put a good amount into this one today since we have that extra money. D, so that's $4. So we're at 16. Let's grab two at a time here. M and P, so that's 13 plus 16. 13 plus 16, we're at 45. I want like a big number. <laughs> I have the money today. Why? Thank you very much. 25. So we're at 70. Let's do two more. We're going to go with these two. <laughs> Q and J. All right, so we got Q is 17. So we're at 87 and J is 10. So we're at $97. Nice. <laughs> okay, so these are all my completed ones. I wish I could get a C and just make it a nice 100. <laughs> okay, 97. I don't think there's change in here. Nope. So let's do five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. We'll take this 10 out. So that way I have change. And then we're putting in a hundred but it's 97, so I'm gonna take out three. Whew, so much work. <laughs> so out of the $351 that are saved, I have 120, 40, 55, 57. 157, I actually thought that would be a lot higher. <laughs> it just goes to show that even though I've done a lot of letters, I still have a lot more to go, but it's so cute. I love her tiles. She does such a good job. And they're just so cute. <laughs> uh, next is my rainy day fund. This is from One Frugal Introvert. This is Jerry. And each of these boots is worth $10 for the pair, $5 for each individual boot. So let's do 10, 20, 30, 
So I have 20 and $30 going into here. So out of the $100, 20, 40, 60, 70. So we have $30 left to go. I just love, I don't know, emergency, rainy day. It's like the perfect combo. <laughs> okay, next is my Frogger. Ooh, this one. <laughs> this is from Boy Mom Loves to Save. And I think we ended up on the frog last time, which was very devastating. <laughs> because each frog is ten dollars so it's a big number how much money do i have left ten twenty two three four so i have twenty four dollars to work with let's whip out the calculator so that i can subtract as i go let's see this one's gonna want to go this way so five we're down to nineteen dollars left four we're down to $15 left, two, um, let's go this way, one, see I love how little the numbers are, <laughs> five, all right, so we have $7 left, and we safely got the frog across, let's do, hmm, well we gotta start here, right? three all right so i have four dollars left and we're gonna stop there because i don't want to get in trouble so i'm going to keep these four out we're putting twenty dollars in today so so far i have saved 10 20 30 40 55 55 dollars and it's a 90 dollar challenge oh i just love this one <laughs> i truly truly do <laughs> All right, and then with my leftover $4, I have this cute little pantry one that I got from Brenda LaBelle. She sent me so many just cute random savings challenges that she made, and I just love it. So I put each pantry item is worth $1. So this is here to collect all my little extras. So let's do this one. One, two. Uh, we'll do a can of sardines or spam three and let's do this little bottle here four all right and it's just a great way to collect all these little single bills <laughs> so two four six dollars has been saved oh isn't it adorable i like it and we are now done with our emergency fund one of these days I will finish up a challenge. Now I could have finished one, I could have, but I wanted to go big on this alphabet one. <laughs> so we will wait another day. Next up is travel. All right, so travel we have, how much do we have saved? 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 70 so we have 70 dollars which is not a whole lot but i am also doing um 2024 challenges to save for travel so it's okay um and of course we have this iou to start off with <laughs> because why wouldn't we and let's cross off this five we'll pay our five dollar iou oh ren <laughs> This one is so cute though. All right. IOU has been paid, but we'll come back to this one because since we did it last time, we're gonna go back later. So travel, we have our little city collection. So Ren over at Mischief Managed Budgets, she has all these different travel cities. I think I have every single one that she has made. I started off with Sydney, and I still haven't finished this one yet. So let's just go. So three plus seven. So we're at 10 plus three. So 13 plus seven. <laughs> we're at 20. Do these all just add up to tens? <laughs> Should we finish this one? Why not? So we're at 26 
And if this is a four, <laughs> no, it's a nine. Okay. <laughs> so we owe $35. So that one's taking up a good amount of money, but I can put a new travel one in there, which makes me really happy. So 35, 20, 30, and five. Because I have so many of those cities. I don't know, maybe I'll pick Tokyo next. <laughs> So 20, 40, 60, 75. So it saved us $75. Anytime we finish a savings challenge, it goes to our header one here. And we'll just stick it by there. Uh, this dashboard, I do sell these in my shop. So if you are interested, uh, they're just a PDF or I have it as the PNG image file. You print them and then you can write in what you want. Okay, so we finished that one. Let's move on to this one. And this is from Budgeting by Dina. And I, it's just so fun. <laughs> it's a travel double-sided one. Um, if you guys didn't know, she does a video on Sundays where she does freebies. And feel free to check her out. <laughs> uh, let's see, this is the $95. That's the spendy side. This is the low side. Well, we're working on the spendy side. Oh, skip. Okay. Normally they're skipping du or double. She just wants me to skip. Okay. <laughs> 18. All right. Well, good thing we didn't get double because 36. Whew. All right. So let's save 18, 10, uh-oh, 12, 14, 16, 18. Dang, we had $2 left over. That's it. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Whew, that could have been bad. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was that far. <laughs> All right, so this is a 95. We're at 20, 30, 40, 55, 57, 59, 61, 63, 65. So we have 30 left to go still. <laughs> it's just so cute. <laughs> okay, now we have $2 left. Um, I can't do either of those. So let's do, well, let's do a scratch off card and then we'll have an IOU again. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and this is a beautiful mountain scene. This is from Ren over at Mischief Bandage Budgets as well. And I just love it. So as you can see, there's not high hopes that I'm going to get a two, but we're going to scratch another card. <laughs> oh, 10. Okay. We owe $8. All right. So we're going to put in our two and we'll bring back our IOU. <laughs> and we're going to write $8. Oh, just, it's never ending. It's never ending. Okay. Put that done card in the back. I just, I love her little card sets. I have so many of them. I just love them. Put the IOU in the front and the $2 can go back here and we are done for the day. Well, not for the day, for this category, <laughs> for this binder. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Next up is home improvement. And this one, Let's see how much I have. We have 50, 70, 80, 95, 100, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So $110, is that correct? 50, 70, 80, 95, 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yep, $110, cool. <laughs> Sometimes I second guess myself when it's like not an even hundred or whatever. Oh, well, <laughs> there goes a chunk of it. <laughs> so we have this $18 IOU. Oh man, do we have $2 in here? So I can just put a 20 in. Yes, we do. So we'll take two out and I'll put a 20 in. Oh man. <laughs> All right, well, we'll start off with that one. So this is from Budget and Chaos. 
I love this challenge. It's just so fun. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll a die and I picked that my knockout number is two. So I'll keep track of all the numbers that I get along the way. If I roll a two, it knocks out all the numbers ahead. If I never roll a two, I have to save all the, whatever the um, total is. So here you can see I had a two, I knocked out all these, and then I saved what was left. So let's go. Three. Three. So right now I'd be saving six dollars plus six, so we're at 12, plus four, we're at 16, yikes, plus five, we're at 21, come on, two, plus six, we're at 27, plus four, we're at 31, plus one, we're at 32, yes, we got a two, woohoo, so I don't have to save any of that. <laughs> And we're going to save $1 today. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, it worked out in my favor. <laughs> but I really like this challenge. I've done it a few times now, and it's just so fun. So for this set of three, we save 20, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $25. And since this is complete, we are going to put it in our front dashboard up here. So 20, 40, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we've saved $47. I'm guessing that's two rounds of that knockout challenge. <laughs> if I were a betting girl. <laughs> and let's clean this off for next time. So what I use is I just use a magic eraser. Don't mind how gross it looks up here because it's cleaning it off. But these honestly work so well. You don't have to get them wet. They can squeak a little bit in the beginning until you use them. So like if I use this other end, it can squeak sometimes. It didn't squeak much, but it just works so well. <laughs> Highly recommend. I was given it as a tip and I have used it ever since. Okay. Moving on. Pigs in space. Yes. <laughs> this is so cute. And this is from Craft Co. Budgets. She is an Aussie living in the U.S., just like our Lizzie Poo. Okay, so I have this $60 and $100, but we're going to keep working on this $60. So let's scratch one plus six is seven. Ooh, plus nine. Okay, we're at 16. So we're at 16 for that side. And then I can roll a dice back here. <laughs> so 16. Let's do a little bit extra. Plus four. So that means we're at 20. Plus one. So we're at 21 plus four, we're at 25, plus five, we're at 30, plus two, 32, and two. So $34 is going in today. <laughs> Wowza. So 50, 50, 32 would be $18 back. Let's see if I can get 10, 15, 16, 17, $18 back into my pile over here. And we'll put the 50 in. <sighs> All right. So, so far we've saved 50, 70, 80, 90, $2. $92. That's crazy. This is a $60 challenge, but because I'm doing the roll on the back, it's going to be a random number. We're not going to know what it's going to be. And I think that's what's fun about it. <laughs> okay, next up is my uh, There's No Place Like Home, Wizard of Oz. And, oops. This one is from Girl Mama Budgets, Tiffany. <laughs> Just, I watched The Wizard of Oz so many times as a kid. <laughs> $10. Ooh, okay, we're going to do a second one. 
plus four. Should I do a third? We're at 14 plus three. We're at 17. Oof. Let's do one more. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we're at 27. <laughs> That's okay. 10, 20, 5, 6, 7. Oy, oy, oy. So we're going to add 27 in there today. So, so far we've saved 20, 30, 45, 55, 60, 2, 4. So 64 and it's $120. So we're halfway done. <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay, this one, Splish Splash, Your Opinion is Trash. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> It honestly makes me smile every single time. It's from Official Budgets. And I don't know, it felt like it was a home improvement one because everyone has opinions on what you should be doing for home improvement. <laughs> Trust me. All right, so we got a 14. So we'll do 10 plus five and we'll take back a one. Do I have enough to do another one? I don't know because these are higher numbers. 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, I feel like we can do one more. <laughs> now watch, it's a 20. <laughs> 10. Okay, perfect. <laughs> 5, 7, 9, 11. Ooh, I got a little nervous there. I oftentimes make decisions to keep scratching and then it blows up in my face. <laughs> so it's an $85 challenge. We have 20, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3. <laughs> Ooh, we are getting close, guys. And it's just so cute. <laughs> It's a very judgmental frog, right? <laughs> okay, reach for the stars. I I love stars. You guys know I love stars. This is from Nita at the Almost Organized Owl. Every single number in here is an even number, and she did that for me, and she did stars for me. I just love this girl. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Ooh, 10. Okay. <laughs> I did say I loved her, but ooh. two, four, six, seven, eight. Now I have an IOU. <laughs> two, four, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? Not the 10. Not the 10. No, not the 10. <laughs> 20, 35, 37, 39, 41, 42, 43, 44. I bet that's a six. I would just scratch that one. <laughs> All right, we had a $2 one in here. Oh, well, that's not it, but we're going to use that one. <laughs> this is from Lady Die Saves. Oh my gosh, $2. It is so cute. Look at the little Boston Terrier. Oh my gosh, those puppies. <laughs> okay, we're going to finish that next time. How fun. Next up is land. So land, I just have a $50 bill. It's not a whole lot. We are putting a little bit more emphasis on home improvement than land, but I do like to keep saving for it. I am using this savings challenge book that I got from Rocks Budgets. It actually is a full-size saving challenge book, but I shrunk it down to this A5 version so that it fits in my envelope. <laughs> and it just works so well. I love playing with printer settings. 
um, to figure out what is the best one. And let's see here. So we have $50. So we're going to do 20 on that page. And 20. So we're at 40. Have I started the next one yet? Nope. So let's do a $10 too on here. That way we did our $50. And it's so cute because it's a printable. So, I mean, you could print these as individual pages, eat pancakes. There's a cat, a butterfly garden. Oh, the farm one. I just love the farm one. Uh, drinks. Yes. <laughs> Save 600. Oh, there's just so many cute ones in here. The ladybug party. I love it. And she is from Romania. And it's just so fun. All my I've never had Romanian friends until in this budgeting community. <laughs> All right, how much do you say? 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 20, 5, 30. So 130, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. So $140. And we will stick that in there. And land is done. And then last up is to update my side-by-side -side tracker. So my husband and I purchased a side-by-side -side last year. <laughs> and we are slowly paying it off. Um, we were saving for it and then the interest rate was so low that we decided just to bite the bullet. So instead of saving for it, we're just putting that money towards the monthly payment. Uh, each of these gas cans symbolizes a month to pay it off. It is a 36 month term, so three years. And the interest rate was just ridiculously low. <laughs> so it just made sense to do it. And we officially have paid one, two, three, four, five months. So we have 31 months to go. And I just created this random tracker. This is what a side by side looks like. <laughs> and we are just itching. A lot of the trails don't open until May 1st around here. Um, so we're just, we had a really mild winter. And so everyone is just ready to get on the trails, but they're just, the soil still soft and muddy and um, they don't want you to go on them until they're officially open. So we're waiting. <laughs> but that is all I have for today. We did all my categories. Oh, corgi butt. Where should I put you? Let's put you on the IOU. <laughs> should I do the $2 IOU? Or... Did I have another one in here? Nope. So we'll put you on the $2 IOU. Corgi butt. It's just so cute. <laughs> okay. And we are done. I love how my binders have these little things sticking out. <laughs> it just makes me happy. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you on Friday for savings challenge day. Bye friends.